So this game happened actually a long time ago. It was basically the summer of 2021, like August-ish of 2021 or like September 2021. Um, I lost this footage somewhere. I think I put it in a wrong folder on my computer. Randomly stumbled upon it like a couple weeks ago and figured I'd do a quick edit of it just to get it out there. I don't have the first part of it, so I'm missing one like part of the GoPro footage so I don't know where that went I might have just accidentally deleted it or got corrupted or something but whatever uh, so this obviously isn't my team this is a team I played for previously that I had a video for a long time ago they're called like the silver wear bandits or something I played for them before and they have the ducks color so I wore like the duck set uh, but this one was just why I wanted to wear the warrior gear and get like actual game usage of it and as well I was the first game I think I ever used a hyper light stick or one of the first games which is now unfortunately broken, but it was here. This game is weird because it's a bit different pace than what like the leagues I was used to. And it got really chippy, like really chippy. And I they didn't get all the stuff in it, but like after the whistle, considerably, it was just getting dumb and hacks all the time and like in their end too. That's why like, I went over to see if that guy was kind of okay because it wasn't the first time like stupid thing happened there. And then like they 50 50 on a breakaway and that was the result. So it was kind of like a little too much especially for beer league and like a nothing game i wasn't thrilled with myself at all like i totally missed that one blocker save got the inside of the blocker it's one of the things i actually realized is hard switching blockers is when they're different thicknesses you go to punch something and a blocker that's like thicker like that you'll miss totally and it'll hit the sidewall instead of like the front of the face so i noticed that quite a bit when i go from like my optic to blocker which is relatively thin board and not like that far out compared to this one, which is a 1X, or my two-piece hyperlight, which is the same thing. But I do notice a difference going back between them and it's kind of throws me off a bit. So it takes a, I'd say a few skates to get used to it. And I just have to kind of keep that in my head. And this is kind of what happened there. I went to punch and just totally missed the board and hit the sidewall and it left the ugly rebound, which ended up being a goal. So if you're buying hockey equipment and you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description. In the US, check out the links to Pure Hockey. In Canada, check out the links to Hockey Supremacy. If you click those links and make a purchase, I get a kickback from the sale. So anything that comes back from that comes right back into the channel so I can make more content and doing like real reviews and stuff. I got buy gear to do a lot of the tests for it. So that costs money and it would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything, check the links in the description to Patreon, buy me a coffee. Everything through there comes again back into the channel so I can make more content and doing real reviews. <laughs>
You're watching HockeyReviews.ca